Hey guys, yeah, um, my name is Rupa and uh, I'm doing a CVP customer experience for ICX. Uh, as Rachel said two days before, we're going to start a lead weeks. And in these two weeks, we're going to talk about different content about lead and how to deliver a successful lead to the EPs. And in this, uh, in today, we're going to talk about one topic, which is about SNS implementation. SNS stands for uh, standards and satisfaction. And um, actually, first of all, I want to talk about the law of SNS. You all know the leadership model of ISEC. And SNS is a really important thing because it actually the thing which can make sure the inner and outer journey can be delivered to every single EPs, and then the EP can gain the leadership qualities. So actually, SNS is not an uh, option. All the things right in here, they're not options. It's not things you can choose to do or not. They are all necessary. And all the things you have to do and have to do it good. And then SNS was divided into four um, uh, blocks. Logistics, job, living, and experience and learning. For, a job, uh, for logistics, uh, visa and work permit need to be provided by the host entity. A viral pickup should be done. And departure support should be done. And for the job, individual responsibility and roles should be communicated and set very good before the internship. Job description should be their working hours should communicate very clearly, like how many hours they should work every single day and every single week. And also first day of work of the internship should be committed by ISACers. And duration of the internship, three months, uh, one and a half months. For the living, uh, insurance should be provided before the internship and accommodation should be provided and com uh, com uh, communicated also. Uh, for the basic living costs should also be communicated. The last part is about experience and learning. For the ISEC purpose, uh, OTXI should tell them like about peace and fulfillment of human cancer potential and leadership development. So they should be aware of the leadership development itself and then they should um, uh, will benefit their internship. And the experience setting should be done, preparation should be done before the internship. And last, most importantly, is about leadership development by both host entity and home entities. If you divided this uh, 16 standard and satisfactions, you can see like some of them belongs to host entity, some, some of them belong to home entities. And as an LC, ISX people and OJX people, you should be aware of which SNS belongs to you and should be your focus. And then we'll talk about how can we actually deliver good SNS. You only need to do three things, research, plan, and implement. You need to research to know what kind of standards you are lack of and what kind of standard is most important and crucial to your current situation. Then you need to plan about the SNS to choose the focus and then implement. So I will show you two examples by two entities of ISA India and uh, they can actually um, tell you how can we actually do it? First is Manipal University. And uh, at the very beginning, they asked themselves some question. Do our EPs know why does ISAC do what does it what it does? Do our EPs perceive us? How do how do our EP perceive us? What is it that they are expecting from us? And all this question they are asking themselves and also asking to EPs. And from all the questions, they get to know the answer, like some of the SNS hasn't been developed, uh, delivered good. So they choose two, uh, three uh, focus for the SNS. First is ISAC purpose. Second, expecting setting. And third, they should de develop space by home entities. And for each of the focus, they have some strategy. For example, for ISAC purpose, um, uh, strategy one is in their pitch itself, they need to align purpose of ISA with the internship opportunities. They need to have a specific sales training to make sure every person who's doing sales can make, uh, can sell the ISAC in, in, the, uh, in the best way possible. Right? For example, for the experience settings, they also have some strategy like um, the proper goal setting and goal alignment with the promise uh, of ISA product. And for leadership development, they also have some strategy of trainings and implementation on OPS. And that's how ISEC in Manipal University developed uh, the strategy for the OTX SNS. And let, let's look into another case, it's about uh, ISEC Didadum. And uh, they have developed some strategy for the ISEC's part, accommodation, 
in home uh, host facil facilitated learning leadership development. So they also have different strategy for competition. They combine with some strategy about global homes. They want to engage more homes to provide EPC unique experience about a combination. And for the viral pickup, and uh, uh, they focus on make sure they have the system and CX teaming actually working on it. And they also have the KPI. And for home, uh, for host facilitated learning, um, they have some IPS planning. They have different leadership development uh, trainings for the members. Then they should have the capacity to facilitate the EPs. I hope like you can learn something from today's video about how can you uh, actually develop a good uh, SNS uh, strategy and implementation uh, implemented in the winter peak. Um, this is the first video about the lead uh, content and let's meet next time. Bye bye.